Hi, Elvia. Welcome. I'm so happy to get to spend this time with you today. Uh, to start, why don't you share with everyone a little bit about who you are and what your business is? Oh, thank you, Kiva. Hello, everyone. It's such an honor to be here, and thank you for inviting me. I am the founder of angelsteach.com. I have an online business where I teach folks, mostly women, who are feeling disconnected from self, perhaps oftentimes actually in a phase of transition, moving on from a relationship or empty nest or whatever it may be, and really have lost a sense of purpose and connection. And I help them to reconnect with their love-based intuition, what I call the angels, so that they can be who they're here to really truly here to be and do what they're here to do. Yeah. Well, I can definitely say that all of us at Bold Heart and all of our members <laughs> truly benefit from having you in this community. You just oh, bring magic to, to the room and to our calls and everything. I just adore you. Uh, Don't you cry? <laughs> <laughs> I, I might. <laughs> so tell Likely. me a little bit about before Bold Heart. What was happening in your business? What wasn't working? What was it like before you found your way here? Oh my goodness. Um, I had been in business for 10 years, but for the five years prior to Bold Heart, I really put things on a back burner because I was taking care of aging parents. And in June of 2017, my mother passed away and I was in the middle of rebranding things actually. Yeah. And it was that November or fall that I was invited to Mindset Retreat and I just got with my whole body, yes, do this. And that was just mindset retreat. And then, of course, I signed up to the business school as part of that. And, you know, all along the way through that process, my whole being was just like, yes, do this. Yeah, I remember that. It was very easy for you. You know, you're somebody who obviously has learned to make decisions from that sourced, mm -hmm. intuitive place. And, um, and I do remember that, that you were just like, there is no question in my body that this has been the place for me. Um, tell me how that's proven to be true. What, what if, what's happened to your business since you've been here and what's shown up for you over these last, what's it, two years now? Yeah, well, um, a year and three months. I'm in year two. Okay, we're in year two, yeah. And it's, uh, it's just been an amazing experience. You know, I, it feels like home is you know the first thing that comes to mind is as we talk about this because bold heart is my container to do everything i need to do to show up as the businesswoman that i need to be uh in so many ways and and i would say that year one was a lot about uh recognizing the healing that i had to do to be able to show up as a businesswoman. And I think for anyone who speaks in terms of chakras, I think I was living kind of up here mm -hmm. and now I'm really speaking and, and showing up um, so from my power center and, and all of who I am. You know, I still have some healing to do, but you know, that's the journey, right? I think everybody probably The does. never ending journey of <laughs> entrepreneurship. Exactly, and that's the beauty of it because it just makes life so, exciting and enriching. I couldn't do anything else, to be honest. What has it meant for you business-wise? Would you be willing to share some specifics? Absolutely. Yeah. So last year was, as I said, a lot about healing and a lot about recognizing what I need to do with myself and with the business, how that translates with the business itself um, and making better decisions. Uh, now I'm starting to see the numbers really reflect all of that work um, that I'm doing personally and what Bolt Heart has been such a huge part of. You know, I, um, my YouTube subscriptions have doubled in the last, I have like, I don't know, 1100, I think, um, in the last three months. Um, I just had, uh, you know, I'm doing this 90 day cash infusion thing and I'm in month one reached, um, I think 42% of my goal. Wow. And it's yeah. a three month. So you're half, almost halfway there. Yep. And the momentum is really good. Like it's just, in fact, it's happening so fast that it's really necessary. Just stay aligned. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, letting, well, we, we work on that a lot, right? Letting the good in, letting the clients in, letting the money in. Such a big part of it is that many of us are conditioned to 
uh, to reject, even if we don't, even despite how much we might want it. Right, exactly. And that's what's so special about Boltard is because you guys, you teach the business stuff, you know, you prioritize that, no question. But you also prioritize what is more essential, and that's the whole mindset and who you are as a person showing up. And because if you can't show up fully to do your work and believe in yourself, then it's not going to work. Thank and you. you. You create the container and the work and the, the live meetings have been huge for me around that. All of it is. I love the Q&A calls. I love my pod. I mean, all of it is just been powerful. Uh, and the growth, I have to say the live meetings really, especially mm. powerful. Yeah, it's where we grow into who we get to be to achieve what we want to achieve. I totally appreciate that. Yeah. You know, I think one of the other things we talk about is that this is a this is a long term game, and we were talking about how you committing to a second year uh, was a you had some some resistance to work through. Will you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, <laughs> synchronously, and I do pay attention to these little synchronicities. My father passed away at the mindset in November of 2018 when I was to sign up for. The second one and there was a part of me that was just like i don't know that i can do this i don't know that i can continue to go all in and um i don't know that i can do this that i have it in me and you know my higher guidance was saying yes but my ego was pretty loud um and I've learned through experience that I don't listen to the ego, but there was resistance. And I, you know, I, I also have been working with a therapist because, um, you know, that was something actually I think that you, Kiva, had, had encouraged that, you know, we really have to go at it from a lot of different angles if we're going to really show up as we're meant to. And, uh, and you know, she helped me. And, of course, the, the mindset retreat itself, although I was pretty distracted by my father passing. But... Um, and then it was the growth meeting. I'd already signed up, but the growth meeting in January was just so powerful, so powerful. Uh, and it just validated that, yep, <laughs> this was the right decision. Yeah. No question. Yeah. And you've just, whoosh, since then, it's amazing to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you're inspiring many people, especially those who have, you know, less tangible what advice would you give someone if they're considering joining the Boltard Business Program? What I'd love to share is what I share with uh, everybody. You know, all I, all I believe we need to be doing is showing up and following our guidance and being who we're here to be. And how that translates to whether or not you should, you should um, sign up for Boltart. If you're feeling it, in every cell of who you're being. And yeah, there's that resistance there. Don't listen to the resistance. Listen to your higher guidance. Know and trust what's in your heart because all those, well, how am I gonna do this if I have a full-time job? How am I gonna do this with the kids? How am I gonna do this with the finances? All of those hows, they, they, they are solved. Those issues go away because the universe actually is what handles the whole how to do things. We just have to show up and follow our guidance and the rest all falls into place. So if you're feeling that strong, like, yeah, I got to do this, then do it. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Well said. I know I always say to people, there, there is not a more love driven business community so in the world. And um, I think that that makes us incredibly powerful as a, as a community, as a whole, as a unit. And it's a really huge differentiation from um, other business schools that I've been part of. You know, it's the whole mindset thing. the biggest difference? How would you qualify that? Because I don't know of any other business school that can feel like family, mm -hmm. that can feel like home, you know, like where you can have your temper tantrums, where people will listen, you know, and be your sounding board when you need to. Um, but just hold you in that space of, you know, kind of like the ideal parents, like we believe in you, we love you, we know you can do this, you know, that's the space you guys create. And I have to share. Um, so just recently, my son was saying, and this is gonna make me cry. Um, 
he was sharing that he and his sister had been talking about my progress over the last year and how they're so proud of me. And a lot of that is because of Boltart. We love you so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> But Fabienne cries all the time, so exactly. She makes it. She gives us all permission to just right. let it flow. <laughs> let it flow. Right. But when you hear that from your kids and they it's see amazing. it for themselves, there's just nothing like that. Wow. Well, I have chills now, and thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. You said it better than I could say it myself. Um, well done, and I know you're inspiring so many people right now to see what's possible. So thanks for your time, Melvia. Oh, thank you. My honor, my pleasure. And again, anybody who's considering this, if you're feeling it, do it. <laughs>